have to be cleaning the uh, shower drain. It smells like nasty in there, as per usual. It just happens every once in a while. I'm not sure. I have to think it's probably something about the Dutch water. Um, our toilet gets a lot more ucky ucky at times than it did back in the States. But then again, I believe they also don't use nearly as many toxins and chemicals in their water, whatever the people are saying. So. It's Wednesday morning. So, I'm still today, all that jazz. Open up Pokemon. Uh, my, <laughs> my, what you call it, the tracker thing is not, it's active, but it's not working very well. <laughs> because I went out and walked a great distance a couple days ago that Google Fit should have tracked. And it did, but it took like four hours for Pokemon to register it. <laughs> I was like, that's really cool and great for like when I'm going to and from practice and walking around and stuff. That way I don't have to keep Pokemon open. But come on. If I go waltzing, it's just, there's such a delay, at least on my phone. And I think Aaron might be having a yeah. similar delay. And I'm not sure if that's a miscommunication between Google Fit and Pokemon Go, or what? I think the the new Adventure Sync, Adventure Sync Plus or whatever they call it, actually doesn't use Pokemon, or doesn't use Google Fit anymore. Hmm. Because I saw things about it keeps your GPS on, yada yada. Ah. Okay. Why does everyone pass on the right? Because they walk on the left. I don't like this. This was something in the states. I would, I would see it. People would walk on this way. It just, they do think, like, and I, I've talked to the Dutchies. They have, they are taught roughly the same way. Walk on the right, drive on the right. Like that's what they do with the bikes. But it's just, there's a large group of people in this world that do everything mirrored, and I don't understand it because nobody else. They, they see it, and they don't understand it either. And I can't seem to find any information on the internet about it. <laughs> so, what? But it's like demanding that they walk on the left and are thus right, you know, walking directly at me and then try to pass. And then there's other people that pass on the right, like that jogging guy. And to be fair, the one guy earlier back by Quackabom, he, Quackaboo, boom, he was actually crossing the street to the right so that makes a little bit of sense yeah. but a lot of other people pass on the right but one major thing I've noticed about crosswalks is people tend to just walk wherever the crosswalk is they have no sides or anything and I'm just like I'm trying to stay within the crosswalk folks and you are walking three people wide on the wrong side of the it's just there's such a level of logistics etiquette that was instilled in me and Aaron also, otherwise he would not really sympathize with me this much, in the United States. And it's really awkward to see so many other people just not really doing any, walking on the wrong side of the road. Like, oh, I need to get out of your way. And it's just so weird. It's really frustrating because I'm like, what? But I like, I've seen it like, there's like the weird, weird exception that if we're in a really narrow place, people try to stay away from the road. Like if we were walking through here and the fence was a little over, everyone would try to stay away from the bike lane. So we're all trying to squish up against the side here. Yeah, I get that. And to be fair, you might actually look way more imposing than I do. So they don't want to go around you. They'd rather go around me. That's valid. That only applies when Aaron and I are walking together, though. <laughs> Not every other time. Anyways, anything you want to talk about this morning? Other than our issue with stuff? Yeah, I was supposed to get a blood test and forgot, and so I ate and drank. Yeah, and not like basic like bread or something. Because like the coffee, I'd fudge it. 
because you don't really put any sugar in it. Yeah. And I'd have went and just said, let's just do it. But you had Crenton Bowling, which is sugar buns, basically. Yeah. So that's not happening. Yeah, sugary fruit. So we're going to try to aim for Saturday, which might be way busier than I think. Why? Look at that. I did it. I didn't have I didn't have her put any product in the hair. So, being honest here, I'm getting a little tired of the hair down the back. It's really cool, and it's like wonderful if I want to spike it, because then I get the the fan effect. But I don't spike it that often. It's becoming winter. Back of my head is like it comes down as a V. I think of it as like a zipper. And before, I was taking it down a lot, like, really far down and leaving it long. So I had her, like, I was like, well, like a zipper. Can we just pull it up a little higher? Because um, I explained the football helmet and the zenith pad in the back kind of slips a little bit with the hair. That's just my preference, especially when it's gripping here and here. But it's, it's I just want to get my hair cut a little bit shorter. And I'm looking at it, and I'm just like, this is still the thing I right. It looks awkward. But, you know, it's cut. And I could have had her take it all the way up, like, take this whole section off. But, whatever. We'll just pull the zipper a little higher next time. It'll be, like, December. If Erin and I go on a vacation in December, it's like a weekend getaway, um, then I'll probably get a haircut before that. And whatnot. I'm gonna watch him. Stargate stuff. I miss it. Aaron and I can't necessarily watch Stargate that well because, well, we did have all the DVDs for se ten and a half seasons, but when we moved, I had to drop that off at mom's house, and I'm not having my sister mail that over here because if we move, then we have to move all that. And it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of discs. I mean, that's 50 plus bonus features plus... Two or three for the half season. It's like moving borderline 60 discs in their own individual cases. Now, to be fair, we do have a. We don't actually. We got rid of them all. We got rid of a lot of stuff. Anyways, I will be going down to the gym. It is only 125 though. So. I'm eating lunch. <laughs> I'm actually checking on Star Trek. Um, because I'm not sure when that thing resets. I didn't check it this morning. I felt off all dang day today, and it still feels a little off because it doesn't feel like it's 125. And that, in theory, I have an hour and a half until I go to the gym. And even when I'm there for two hours, I can sit down and have a cup of coffee for half an hour afterwards and get on the bike and ride home and still beat Aaron home. This day is super long. Maybe I should finish leveling this ship and get the hell off of it, because I suck at playing this stupid Kulash frigate. I've been requested to go over the most recent Picard trailer um, by a friend on Facebook. I don't know if you guys were even interested in that video. There's a card there in case I will check with you guys here probably after the gym. See what's going on. I might actually take a full dang towel and just go sit in like the sauna thing and just try to chill and meditate and stuff. See if I can get this out of, out of my system. Oh, the Kobayashi Maru. An upcoming weekend. Kobayashi Maru goes from October 17th to November 7th. I'm sorry, what? All right. I did not go to the gym. So I sat down and continued watching more random Stargate videos and then was like, you know what? It's still early. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to rest because I didn't sleep well the night before. And I'm just like, it's going like to be like 15 minutes. I'm just going to watch more of these videos on my phone in bed. <laughs> like, it was completely innocent. Like, I even set one of our, you know, for Corin Bolin down on the corner of the counter. I was just like, I'm just gonna set it here. I'm just gonna go lay down. 
Then I got a message over the Ad Meldigan group that there's no practice because Elver Samachimenta hasn't gotten it together or something. I don't know what's going on. Like, what's up with the field going on? We only missed one practice because the field was being reseeded last year and we just tear it up more this last year or something? I don't know. But <laughs> I was poking around at Seaport while I was taking care of some stuff on WoW and then like, I'm just like hunched over my phone. I just went, whoop, whoop, flash, flash. Aaron's like, probably. <laughs> We're having a really good thunderstorm tonight. Lightning, also. <laughs> it's, uh... I'm not sure if it's just the ones that we happen to have, like, immediately flying over the top of us or whatnot, but it's always like, there was nothing going on, and I saw a flash. Usually you can get a flash, a flicker flicker, but no. It was like, are you going to YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. We got pizza dam. Instead of like Indian food or Vonies or anything else. Weatherbug is now telling me of a lightning alert. Oh my goodness. Yes. I have no idea. Yeah. I got this one minute ago. There is lightning within 0.2 kilometers of your place. Please seek shelter. I mean... Here, I'm not sure if you guys can see this very well. <laughs> I mean, there's the, there's Nord and the Eye and Amsterdam and Lightning and we're within that area. You guys, I think, yeah, got that little thing down there where I'm at. That's just how it's going. Flash, flash, boom, boom. Even a dia full of, well, you have pasta, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, is that? Oh, that's the cheese bread. I was like, that looks like. Yeah, yeah. Boston Dynamics made a robot. Was it seven years ago? Ten years ago. There's really not much more. You don't need. To... It is the slowest climbing. I just wanted to see size more than anything. It, it's it's so slow. That's why I kind of got it about a minute into it. And went nope. Not gonna deal with this whole thing climbing a wall. I understand robotics guys are probably like glued to that one, but no, you show me a flipping one and I'll be good. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, see they fast forward and it was it's climbing up the yeah, whatever. I just don't man. I will see you guys tomorrow for random video. To be fair, it does have to climb a fairly rough surface. Um, it like it has to climb like stucco or carpet. It can't just climb a flat surface. So our skyscrapers are safe. <laughs>